And that's my first live. Welcome to my first live. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm Tommy T. Um, it's a new experience for me. I don't know what's going on. We're telling more followers you have started a live video. Good. Anyway, we're supposed to have a coaching session with RJ from the School of Rockstars, and she suggested that we do it on Instagram Live. So here we are, and I'm just waiting for her to join. I don't even know how to tell her she can join. So <laughs> it's all it's all new. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll give you a little update before RJ gets on. I have been quitting smoking. Today is day 18. Today is actually day, the beginning of day 19. I haven't put out a video yet. And Lily Ma has joined us. Hi, Lily. Things have changed, aren't they? We're on the other end of the stick, huh? <laughs> Usually I'm tuning into you, and I'm the first one in your chat. <laughs> ah, it's pretty fucking exciting, I gotta say. Anyway, RJ from the School of Rock Stars. Here she comes. Hi, RJ. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. Good. I just completed my morning routine. You did? That's good. Yes. And, and you got all of your um do you have your dream board up your or your um all the the inspirational mm -hmm. people? No, like uh, I just uh, I, uh, I just need to paste it on a board. I didn't like uh, I collected and I cut them, but I didn't paste it those. Yeah. Can you show some of that that you've cut out? I know you've already done it on your feed, but I think it's really inspirational that you're yes. taking these. Yeah. All of, all of your your mentors and your people you look up to. Uh, yes. That's awesome. So how's your week been? It's fantastic. Oprah. Oprah. Straight up Tom Oprah. Tommy you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tim Ferriss. And Superwoman Lily Singh. Yeah. <laughs> I like her. <coughs> like her. Excuse me. Yeah. And Believe Nation. Obviously, Evan. The founder. Believe. Yes. Brought to you by... <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say, I wanted to say, this, this live Tommy T session is brought to you by Your One, one Word, word. <laughs> which is yes. Inspire. And what is Your One Word, RJ? A rock star. A rock star. Yes. Yeah. And also this one, because I want to make YouTube videos, so I, I included this one as well. Yeah. And you're doing it. You're not, you're not trying to, you're doing it. And this one is serve your community. So I want to like help some people, like at least one or two uh -huh. in my community. So that's why like I took this one. So what do you want to help them do? Is there something going on that you want to, um, can somebody donate money or something to somewhere? No, not uh, like uh, I did uh, in this week. I did that one too because uh, in in India, one of the state Kerala, like uh, in that state, uh, we are having like a floods, severe floods. Right. So But that's not where you yeah. live. Yeah, it's like uh, the state like next to us. Okay. So. Uh, it's like a very cool place and it's very greenery and uh, you will love it if you see it, like uh, if you google it you will love the place and it is famous for like uh, coconut and fresh uh, food and it's like uh, but now it's all destroyed with uh, f with floods yeah. so yeah they need so much of help so if somebody wanted to donate for that cause it's on your um, one of your posts for instagram Is there, a, is there a link or something? Yeah, like I'll search for it because uh, uh, the, uh, the chief minister of uh, that state gave the link for donation. Right. And, we, uh, and I, myself, and also like uh, my family on the whole, like for my, uh, I donated $350 from my awesome. salary. That's, that's great. Yeah. Okay. So what else has been going on this week? Did you go to Toastmasters? 
no like uh, i am having like uh, testing going on in my day job so that's why like i didn't spend that one hour for on wednesday okay did you miss it did yeah. you feel like you you sh- you would have been better off if you had gone or was it like okay i'm i can miss one and that's okay yeah i felt like i want to go but uh, but the testing and uh, i want to be there so that's why like uh, i missed it <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking Hi, at Bo. the Bo yeah you here. can see the chat too huh bows in the house thanks for showing yeah. up bo that's awesome i feel honored we got lily we got bo yes. <laughs> <laughs> and coffee captain and tracy. tracy right i i'm not uh, mm-hmm. michael All the people yes. that really support me, I know, they also support you. I believe we're all yes. in the same tribe here. Oh, this is awesome. I don't know. I'm Ray I'm Ran Khan. I don't know your name and I, and but welcome anyway. And that's it. The only one person. So, hi, I'm Ran Khan. I don't know who that is. If anybody else does, welcome. Welcome aboard my first live. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why like i suggested i suggest you this because many people can join and uh, our conversation so yeah. that's why <laughs> nobody's asking any questions so now i know how lily feels everybody just joins in to suck life out of lip no <laughs> to get to get some advice but nobody ever wants to help her um not nobody but sometimes it's a struggle sometimes it's honestly just me and lily in the chats <laughs> and maybe like tracy or somebody you know so yeah like uh, i also watch uh, lily's live on uh, uh, hangout so yeah yeah you are the one person like you are the must <laughs> you <You'll> be must <laughs> I look at it this way it's free coaching it's free I uh, this is my mentor and it, wherever yes. she wherever she's going to show up live I want to be there and so to to drink it in because it's it's I, obviously I find value in it if if this is my life coach and she's wherever she's at I want and I want to get that information and coming first hand in real time that is like shit that's hot off the press So that's why I make it a a priori- more of a priority to try to be there. Um obviously and to support her, but I completely respect her and I want I want to learn from her, you know. I I'm ready to learn from her. Um and and that's why I try to be there. You know, there's so much more value in the things that it's that that she's given me as my personal coach all, all the way to being wanting to be a a life coach myself that's how much lily has inspired me and and it's inspired yeah, like when i uh, when i see her videos it will be like straight forward yeah no like yeah, she it, keeps it real and that's and that's yeah, what yeah. i it's it real and practical yeah so yeah, that's what it's all about is doing your passion like i had already had one coaching session this morning with coffee catherine actually coffee cat she is here it's- yeah and i don't know that um i'm supposed to reveal my clients <laughs> i don't know what the pro- <laughs> i don't know what the uh, uh etiquette is but i don't think she would mind to to let people know that i'm coaching her anyway i have to get up at 3:30 in the morning and i was telling her that i i don't really like to get up at 3:45 in the morning every day and go to work that to me is a little draining uh but okay. i have no problem getting up on a saturday at 3:30 to c- go to work and talk and coach and uh, try to uh, make help make somebody's life better that that's charging that's charging my batteries so that's yeah tracy is asking a question like how did you find lily how did i find lily i found lily through evan carmichael through watching his top 10 videos i thought this dude because i was on a quest to learn uh, more of the business side the entrepreneurial side of how to peddle my goods on the internet like through social oh. media yeah. and um my my spiritual experiences have changed and my beliefs have changed and i wanted to figure out how i could share that to the biggest platform And so I thought well I better learn how to be my own boss and manage my own <coughs> whatever. So I start following Evan and then 
And I've always kind of thought I want to be a personal coach. I've always pictured myself on stage and doing that kind of thing, but never had the self-confidence enough to actually do it. And so then I noticed that Evan has an Unlocking Lily series, which he's taking yes. somebody who never has, never has done it and is doing it. So I want to be trained by her. I figure I can be trained for free because I can just watch her videos, right? Well, yes. I think, uh, so I started watching her videos and that's how I found her. And then I, I was actually bold enough to, I, I figured she would be way out of my price range and I could never afford her, but I thought, what a, why not ask? What's it going to hurt? And then I got, yes. hooked, I got hooked into School of Life because it turns out it's cheaper to go to School of Life with Lily than it actually works out to be if you were to just take her on as a personal coach, you know, being one of her clients. So I did School of Life for nine weeks and um, fell in love with her and her beliefs and her training techniques and everything else. And um, she's become such an intricate part of my life and my way of learning how to live the right way again, okay. I guess. This time around, you know, I guess. I'm, I'm older. I'm 49 years old. I don't have – I've been around the block a couple of times. I've just never been around the block enough times the right way to be happy and satisfied and financially set and all that, you know, so – this time around like, uh, yeah okay. what is the first question you asked like uh, asked to lily what is the first question you asked lily what's the first question i asked lily yeah how much do you charge <laughs> <laughs> other than that there's my son hey everybody my son has joined my first live session his name is thrasher gabriel Oh, awesome. Uh, one Crafty Beach, Catherine is in the house. Hey, yes. girl. You she got made... your stickers from her, yeah. She, oh, I got a request from her too? How do I figure out who's requesting me? Bo requested, I but I don't, I don't know. How do I get back to that? No, no, I have to cancel. Then only like... Uh, oh, you can... and then the next person can come on. Well, it's, up, in, to you, it's yeah. up to you, RJ. Do you want to let somebody else come on or do you want to... Uh... Yes, sure, sure. I will be online. All right, what's the, what's the one thing you, you've done that you would like to say something about this morning so far that you're proud of or you're grateful for? Uh, like, I'm grateful for what I'm doing. Like, I'm... I'm a bit slow on what I'm doing right now, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> That's so the point, though, I'm that you're of... doing it. Yes. Slow or not, that's all it takes, right? Because sometimes I feel like I don't, I don't want to do this at this time, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> and that's, that's what's going to make you the success that you, that you see yourself being that that alone yes. not alone but that is a, the majority of it all is doing the little things consistently and you're doing it and it's and it shows yes. and you're growing so it was great to talk to you thanks for talking me into going live and i really appreciate Thank you. you sure right. i'll be online and i'll all right bye rj okay the school of rock stars left i have Michael Glamath. I've never actually talked to Michael in person, live. So here we go, Michael. Welcome to the Tommy T's live show. Here's the man. Hey, all right. How you doing, man? All right. Good. How are you? Good, it's good. Nice, Just, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice to meet you too, man. Uh, yeah. Following each other for, from afar for a while. Yeah, and every day now I just watch you doing the Orange Theory and the jogging, the running, and the and the, all that stuff too on your twenty four hour feed. So I kind of I felt like I know you, you know, but we never met. <laughs> yeah, likewise, man. Like you're doing a lot of inspiring stuff yourself. Like everything that you're doing with uh, quitting smoking and giving us the entire journey, like the whole struggle of it. Like that takes 
an amazing amount of courage to do what you're doing, man. I, I, like, you, you inspire me, bro. I appreciate it. Appreciate Thank everything you. you're doing. Here's what I look. I, 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 I'm not doing it because I want to uh, show that I can. I'm doing it because I want to, or I prove Mm -hmm. that, 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 you know, I'm not trying to show or, or prove anything to anyone. Mm -hmm. it, uh, I'm out to show, I re my, my point is on doing it and being uh, transparent about it on Instagram is that it, I want to show that it can be done because I really feel like it's time for me to quit and I know that this time is the right time and this kind of, it helps you be accountable to somebody even and, and nobody really because mm. people will comment here and there and it's it's a, it's it's nice to know that people are you're inspired, but well, what if I don't do it? You know, what if I can't do it? What if I fail? What you know, uh, all of those things, and it kind of helps you not fail. But in a way, it, even if I, it 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 helps me bring it all into perspective, really. Mm -hmm. That um, that I didn't have to quit right away. I started sh telling people I'm quitting at a pack and a half left mm -hmm. right so right. Pe i'm sure people some people nobody has ever said anything but i i'm sure some people thought he's not quitting and then he, he's not even done yet and then when he's not done he's gonna vape and then he's gonna do both and then the one well what when's he gonna quit that's when i'll pay attention but that's not really the journey the journey mm -hmm. is up to that point and i had already tried to quit cold turkey so many times that um and and i think you're right like you said you never smoked but you're 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 learning something. You're gaining value from something I'm putting out there, and that's that's the important thing to me is that somebody finds out oh, maybe I can do that. Um, and and you hear people all the time. Oh, uh, you know, you would have never seen me go live a month ago or whatever, and you were there when I first did the 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 freestyle rap. You know, you I think you were there. <laughs> it's amazing too. Sure. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> so yeah, everybody grows, and it's possible. J Rise. J Rise is man. J -Rise in the house. Uh, we got a challenge going on later on uh, between the two of us. I have to be honest with you. I, I, I follow you because you were in part of that um, uh, make money from what you, you know, at Evan Carmichael's thing. That's how mm -hmm. I found out about you. Really? Wow. Uh, okay. Um, I, I, I follow you because you work with J Rise. Mm. So re respect, you know. I'm he's interested. I, I'm interested. He's the Yoda of mindset. He is, and I'm interested to watch what he does with you. And I can already see what he can do, because I'm seeing difference in, in growth and change and everything in you. I'm kind of watching in the back. Well, you know, a little bit watching. I'm supporting, but I'm watching because I'd like to take kind of that route too through mm. Soar, uh, getting that. Um, uh, help, you know what I mean? The yeah. the, the the guidance from what what they can offer. So anyway, that's what I'm I'm kind of uh, trolling you to see how you do. <laughs> and I know it's not J Rise's fault if you don't follow through, but mm. you seem to be, and it shows. You know, it's working. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, there there was a lot of resistance uh, early on. Uh, to certain key things uh, like uh, Evan and Jay just put out a new video uh, like it's uh, an animated video on Evan's channel a YouTube channel like go check that out uh, like that that kind of like uh, explains a lot right there. <laughs> but, yeah um, I, haven't, I haven't seen that yet it's out right oh it's amazing yeah, it's, a, it's, okay. it's short it's like uh, under 10 minutes um, right I, re I remember reading it um Jay Rise was was talking about it on one of his Instagram posts. I I didn't know it was out yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's, a, it's amazing. Yeah, man. Like we're working with Jay and working with Evan and Lily and and Alex and the whole Toronto team. They they're all amazing. Uh, I'll be at the workshop again in uh, another couple of days. This time I, awesome. I'm helping out. Uh, yeah, cool. it, it's amazing. And yeah, like working so close with Jay, like he's able to rise anyone and uh, like he looks at you and tells you how it is, man. Uh, like it's, uh, it's figuring out like things that you 
have in you, but you don't necessarily see in yourself. Yeah. And bringing all the this stuff up, uh, like uh, really, like since. Since he and I started to work together in June, right? So, well, what is it? Like two months, a little, uh, just about, right? Uh, yeah. Like, uh, June, July, like uh, almost August, a lot, like uh, almost three months now. Uh, I've went from uh, having like a small business to then selling that business for a multiple, building a brand new business having two major collabs on the horizon and now uh, like a international speaker <laughs> going to Toronto to do all this. I like, like it. It's bonkers, man. It, it really awesome. is. I, like I did not see any of this. I, like if you met me a year ago and like, well, where would you be? Uh, it like, uh, I never would have guessed here. But yeah. And it's Here happening. we are, and it's the tip. It's just the tip of the iceberg, man. And, and isn't it exciting? And it's real, and it's right, and it's true. Yeah. You know, when you follow this, right? Like when you follow this. Uh huh. You can't go wrong. Yeah, and that's what I'm learning in my latter in my latter years. Mm. <laughs> I, I'm I'm sick of doing what I think I should be doing, and I want to do what my passion is. You know, mm. I want to. I'm good at being a mechanic, and I get paid good money to do that. But that's not what I—that's not where my heart is anymore. You know, mm -hmm. I want to help. I want to help people, so I want to be a personal coach. And and it's this transition of well, what makes you think you can even talk to people straight up anyway? All you've ever done is be uh, mechanically inclined, and you don't have to talk or learn how to talk to many people that way. It, you know, in that in that line of work per se. You know, but um, so it's it's a big transition for me. And I'm sure, and there's so many different things and ways that that I'm watching you grow in in the different things since I've been following you back. You know, basically right after the the con the thing I didn't get to go to, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna follow all these people that went to it that I can, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna learn and follow them and see what's going so that I can save and maybe go to the next one or the next one or whenever I can go, I'm gonna now be able to see their growth and, and I'm seeing it, you know, and it's, mm. is, is it worth going, you know? And I think it would totally is. I just can't go this time. <laughs> mm. 100%. You know? Like, well, whenever you are able to, like it, it was a lot, like saying that it's a life changing experience, like kind of feels like an understatement. Uh, uh, and, and that's like pretty significant. Uh, like yeah. how deep, like everybody went like there, uh, like, finding out like so, so, so many different things about uh, ourselves, uh, like people getting tattoos uh, together at this <laughs> conference. <laughs> uh, I, like I'm there one word, uh, like the extreme meaning that came out of it. Like it's leaning into the magic and, and expecting yeah. like miracles to happen. Right. You know, uh, and and we and we can do that every single day, every single day, and and you're making it happen too. Well, like it, seriously, well, like you want to be a coach, like you're coaching people every day on your channel by showing them, like being vulnerable. Like you are literally being a shield for others that are either trying to do the same thing that you are, like trying to quit smoking or trying to do something else. Uh, like yeah, like I'm not a smoker, but like you showing like how vulnerable, like, uh, like what vulnerability is, like you're being a shield for me to like go and be like, okay, like if Tommy can go and be like this open and honest, then like, shit, man, like, uh, let me push it just a little bit harder, a little bit harder each time. And that's how we grow, man. Yeah. That's, and that's the Believe Nation way, really. It's the whole tribe oh, yeah. that we we kind of live in and I love it. It's like a, it's the perfect business atmosphere to me and it's the perfect social atmosphere and it all kind of works together and it all, it, it's almost like a, it's this neverland that I always, I always wished that business should have been because I've, I've tried to run my own business several times in the past and failed, but I always thought I had to be crooked. I always had, I thought I had to be dishonest or I had to, I had to take something unfairly 
And that's mm. just the way business was. And then I get to Believe Nation and I, I analyze and see how Evan runs his business and how great he is with the customer service and how true and real everything that's ever been associated with Believe Nation is. And it's like this whole new world of bubble that I've created for myself that is healthy and good and it's people helping people instead of people trying to rip each other down. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of that's the kind of world socially, privately and publicly that I want to grow in in too, you know. I want to mm -hmm. hang around people like that, you know, and you're you're one of them and Jay Rise and there's so many others, Lily. Um this is where I want to be, and this is where I want to grow. I tell Lily, I, I feel like a little junior ninja warrior in, in the, I just jumped into a bigger realm of huge, uh, you know, warrior-like people, you know, and I'm, and I'm learning and falling on my face, and they're looking down at me going, get up, come on, dust yourself off, it'll be okay. And when I'm looking up going, no, it's a complete failure, and I quit, and they're like, it's not that big a deal, dude, you know, <laughs> mm. so yeah, just man. growing, I, you know, like I keep on thinking of that Tim Kennedy quote, like it keeps on coming up, like again, right here, like, like yesterday, like earlier in the story, like, do you know who Tim Kennedy is? Uh, Tim Kennedy is a uh, former UFC fighter. I believe he was a middleweight champion. And now he is a uh, ranger in the United States Army. And he was profiled uh, on uh, Tim Ferriss's uh, podcast. And one of the things that he said in that was to hurry up and fail. And the reason why is because every time that we fail, we push the line just a little bit further, right? So, like, if we get to here and we fail here, then the next time that we try to do that thing, maybe it's over here then over here. And before we know it, we look back and, oh, well, getting to this point, well, that's easy, right? So we want to hurry up, get to the point of failure as quickly as we possibly can. So that way, the next time out, like, we'd, we keep on progressing. Yeah, and it's just a little, little steps at a time. Mm -hmm. I, I'm finding, you know, I always thought it was quantity. Uh, I've always been taught it's quality, not quantity. Mm -hmm. If you do a good job and you do it once, you do, uh, it, it has a better impact than if you do it crappy a hundred times. Well, social media is not like that. And people don't want to see a fake made up um, me trying to be something I'm not. They're, they're, yeah, no. the, the society is tired of those people. They want to see the real deal. They want to see this is reality at, on the next reality TV on the next level really right. is what all of this is. It's two people getting together and talking and just being real, and 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 uh, and we're allowed to curse and whatever we want to do. We, we're just allowed to be ourselves for once, instead of having to be something that we were told we should be or that we were forced or boxed into. Nobody, we're, we're all breaking out of that mold anymore. I feel, at least the group I hang around is, and mm -hmm. we're 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 molding into the person that we were meant to be instead of who we thought we were supposed to be, and it's liberating. It really is like it's like having like that uh, giant sledgehammer or like the hammer of Thor, like breaking through that wall and like getting to the other side. I love it. Yeah. All right, I'm trying to give a a a what do you call it? A plug. Uh, uh, <laughs> plug. Uh, oh. All right, so uh, we are building Marawealth dot com. Uh, myself uh, and Jay Rise. And yeah, well, like just focusing on delivering value in so many different ways. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, well, we recently put out this new uh, trade emotionator, right? Trade emotionator. Uh, so yeah. uh, one of the things that people make mistake on when they go and they trade, they, they don't use the correct size. They don't know like how much to buy and the amount that we buy is tied to our emotions, right? So if we see this hot stock and we go all in, then any little like tickle in the stock and you're gonna blow yourself up and you're gonna be worried about that. And so the calculator tells you these kinds of things. And it also tells you if you go another way where well, like if you don't like let's say like you buy like one share or something and like that's never going to move the needle and you're probably not even going to care 
about that stock anyway because well i only have one share so like if it falls 50 percent, like who cares it's just one well that's the wrong attitude also and the calculator will tell you to grow a pair <laughs> and buy the right amount um, cool and it, it's yeah it's revolutionary to the field nothing like it exists on the market and well we brought this to life in like no time at all and it's just the beginning so many so other it's things. your uh... It's your original algorithm that's something that you've created between your, your group that's, that's yeah. awesome. Like, it's incorporating emotion into the stock market, which has really never been done before into trading, correct? Uh, and, yeah, well, and, like, so trading psychology, trading mindset is things that are not new. They're not talked about nearly enough, like, uh, but, um, but yeah, like I'm not the first person to ever talk about trading psychology. As far as this, an actual tool to help you measure something, like like I've, I've been in the market now for 20 years, like I haven't seen anything like this anywhere. And cool. uh, it, it's amazing. What are you doing to attract the person who is like me, the average everyday dude who has a couple of stocks in something here or there but doesn't really know what to do? What what are you doing to target? Are you tar is that one of your target markets or what's your what's your um your you demographic? Know, you know? Yeah, it's it's funny. Well, well, we actually had a huge conversation on who should the target be, and uh, like I almost thought of it as Sophie's Choice, where like you had like your brand new people, and you have who I'm passionate about helping, and you have your intermediates that are like that they have at least cracked open a book. And they kind of like hit they're at that point where they hit the wall and, you know, like they're trying to do what's in the book and they haven't made progress. Uh, and, well, you need to focus on one. And I saw like is kind of which one do I service? I, I want to help both. But at first, I want to help the people that are at the wall and need help getting over the wall. And I think that as I'm helping those people and bring more of them on board. Like there'll be other people too that can help the beginner levels, myself personally, and like other people to like kind of like build this into uh, a massive empire. But well, whenever I'm here, uh, like that's what Marrow Wealth is targeted for, but like anybody that comes to me here or wherever, uh, like uh, I'm going to help them out. So like if you have questions that you want to ask, like fire away, man. Um, yeah, like it doesn't have to be like right the second, but uh, like if you want to like DM yeah. or like, yeah, you get it. Right. Yeah. Cool. Right on. So um, I want to kind of believe I'm going to talk to Bo. This is, this is surreal. Bo. <laughs> <laughs> I have to come on, man. I, I, I can't believe I'm talking to fucking Bo. <laughs> no, nah, man. As soon as I saw the post, as soon as I saw the post and said it was you're going to be your first live, I had to come and say hi. Uh, well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, how you doing, man? I'm good. It's, I don't know, 3.30 over here. Where are you? Arizona. Yeah. What time? In the morning or at night? Oh, lunchtime. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, Second lunch. Uh, 7.30 in the morning here, Saturday morning, I guess. Oh, it's nice to be up that early on a Saturday. How are you? Good? I'm good. I'm actually doing really good. I wanted to uh, give you the, the opportunity to push your book. And tell us about it. I'm fucking dying to hear about what's going on. No, it's good. It's it's going well. I've been doing. I did like four minute masters. Still do it. And then trying to get everything under like an umbrella f under me because I am not four minute masters. It's something I do. And if you've not, if anyone on here has not seen it, it's um just I interview the most successful people in the world for four minutes. Right. And then it's how I got into the kind of, I met Evan through that, and now I do the Bo Show with Evan. So for, on Evan's channel, we interview amazing people, which is awesome. Hell yeah. And then from, the, from there, I realized, I'm not an interviewer. I hate when people call me an interviewer because it's not what I want to do with my life. And the kind of the, the interviews, I want to call them discussions. So these yeah. discussions that I get to have with these amazing people, what you don't see, though, is although you might see four minutes or 35 minutes of an interview, a lot of them are an hour, hour and a half, and I literally get one-on-one -on -one time with some of the greatest minds like Gary V, or uh, I remember, uh, who else was, uh, Wim Hof, and I get to ask them, how can I improve? So I started this journey a year ago, and I'm off to Toronto next week. I'll be part of that whole Toronto yeah. crew. 
And I get to meet yeah. everyone, which will be great. I'm really <laughs> looking forward to that. And um, from there, I was like, okay, so what do I want to do? And I realized my speciality at the moment, it's not, it's not everything I do, but I'm really good at creating relationships, not just romantically, but through businesses, through families, through friends and everything. And then I had a formula, which I've been using for years, and went, wait, doesn't everyone know this? Realized they didn't, so now we're writing the book about that. And I know Jay Rice thinks it's a sex book, but it's, it's only a part of it. <laughs> Well, sex is part of relationships, right? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to go and fuck Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone has their price, Bo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a lot lower than you think. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, it's going really good. It's, it's something that I get to do and craft a lot. So in Toronto, we'll be looking into the whole one by one equals three principle how we can market that and if you've been on the instagram recently my one you'll see there's a there has been a shift in how content's produced and yeah. from now um doing some stuff with grant cardone i want to be able to what his whole thing is 10 exit so if i'm doing three posts a day i should be aiming to do even more oversaturate this market but it's going good but at the end of the day i have so much fun working on my instagram and looking at people like yourself like school of rock stars like lily and stuff and i get to see other people's lives and get to know them so it's it's really cool to be part of that and that's why oh no i've fallen over <laughs> <laughs> and i get to be part of that and dude i've been following your journey and i know i know what you said earlier about some people going why is he not quitting why not it's a process and that's the cool thing because People don't want the end story. They want to see the process. And that's why we're doing the book now, and I'm showing the process. If I just said, here's the book, no one gives a crap. Um, right. It's why, it's why we do the behind the scenes, how I got the interview. They're actually yeah. more interested. I'll, I'll get more views for how I got Gary V than the actual Gary V video, which is weird. Isn't that interesting? Um, yeah, because people want to be able to relate to the process and they believe that the process is something that they can achieve but the end result although astounding they can't relate to so I think the progress is definitely the marketable aspect and what you're doing at the moment inspiring people and going look I, can I, I, I don't care I can swear on here um, you're on there sometimes and you go look I've had an extra cigarette and yeah I fucked up people love that because they go oh, I did that once too and I I'm very big into my health and fitness I work out every day and stuff and there are days I don't want to do it. And when I see someone else who doesn't want to do it, it inspires me and goes, wow, we're all in this together. And normally that's the driving thing that actually contradictorily pushes you through to do it. So what you're doing is fantastic. Keep doing it. And you know I look at your stories. I know if you check the thing, you'll always see me looking at there. So, Oh, I know who's watching. <laughs> I can't believe it sometimes. Yeah. And I, okay, and this sometimes is not I think, well, why, why would Bo care? What, what does... And then I think, well, maybe, Tommy, that maybe you do have something somebody has an interest in. And maybe you do bring value because I feel like what, you know, me doing my crazy little singing into the lip syncing with the music, that's not uh, helping anybody, but it's fun. And maybe it is helping somebody. And I'm finding out that people actually enjoy it. And it, I started doing it because I was afraid to get on in front of the camera. And then I just said, well, I'm going to put my sunglasses on then, and that's how I am going to be able to hide myself. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> somebody else. But, you know, I'm learning how to be me, too, and that's what I'm learning through Lily. And I got to say, the best therapy I have had that, that's had the most impact is getting enough balls to put myself on camera and say something, just whatever, and be okay with it. And, and it's really liberating, and it's confidence building. And it's, it, it, anybody out there who is afraid to, whatever, go live, any, you don't know what's going to happen. If you follow people and you respect them and you support them, when you do things like this, my first live, amazing, uh, really uh, respected people are going to show up. And you didn't even really let them know but 10 minutes before. And that's just amazing to me. So that well, here's the thing. Yeah. You're singing, you're doing like, I loved your Beastie Boys when you did a while ago, because uh, that's, that's like <laughs> me. Like, I'm, I'm a lot older than you think I am. But here's the thing that's interesting. Say someone watches that, and they were in a certain kind of mood, and then they have a smile and they laugh. That will change the entire direction of their lives, because the next decision they make will be based from a different emotional state. That's and true. that, they're the small things. Now, 
as you said earlier, like, why would someone like me watch you? I don't know if you know too much about my background and whatnot and the people I've grown up around. Like, I grew up around very successful, like, some of the biggest names on the planet. And you know what? We're all fucking human. We're all right. the same. And there is yeah. no difference. But the one thing I have realized is that the connections you make with people are going to be the really important things that you need to address in the world. And, and, and you can choose to connect with people. And thanks to the internet and Instagram and Twitter and all that, you can connect with anyone. And it's why I got fascinated with the concept of relationships, how to make relationships. And it's why we're speaking now. Like you're, you're five, 8,000 miles away from me. Yeah. In a complete, like the sun is just rising and it's getting ready to set here because we're in cold England. But it's, this is a relationship, and who knows where this could go. I'm, uh, like, I, I got to know you through Lily. I got to know Lily through Evan. I got to know Evan through uh, various other people. It's just amazing how it's going. So keep doing what you're doing and just keep failing forward in a way. Like if you're doing something, it's not working, just change it and keep going. But don't stop being in front of the camera. Um, I used to be a musician and. I thought that the persona who would go on stage and can sing can get away with anything. So I used to go on stage and I was outlandish and I would say the most kind of loud, brash things. And then when I got off stage in a way, I felt safe. And then I realized, wait a second, I can just do this all the time. And now it's become who I am. And so that's why I can do this. Um, I can do Instagram. I can do what I'm doing to a kind of high degree because I have the self-belief. So everyone, like, I, you know I love you, man. And keep doing what you're doing. And <laughs> Thanks, yeah, as I... But I know it goes for all of us. We all think the same thing. If there's anything you ever need from any of us, just let us know. We'll always be here to help you. Really appreciate that. Thanks, Bo. You but the last me. thing is, yes. in the background is that book, and that's completely by accident, is Evan's book. Oh. <laughs> it's oh actually, yeah. I'm just... Let me tell you what's not by accident, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, this that's actually by accident. brought to you by... I know, I look like I'm sponsored by Evan. But no, what Evan's done, Evan, Evan's actually brought us all together, so I can't wait to see him um, next week. And this is normally my, I'm just sitting down because I've rearranged the living room, but... Um, I love that's your Jimi Hendrix one. Oh, uh, where is it? That one. Over there, yeah. That's one I like. It, it dep uh, the reason that that's over there and this London one's here is because we put the London one up for the Bow Show interviews because it's like I'm in London. Right, yeah, that's good Evan, idea. Evan's books there because we just did the uh, Lewis Howes interview and I've not really cleared stuff up. There's Batman there. There's loads of Batman. <laughs> yeah, they're getting bigger too. <laughs> but no, man, it's really keep doing what you're doing. And yeah, as I said, anything I can ever do to help you out, always, always never be afraid to ask. Thank you, Bo. I really appreciate that. That means a lot to me. Have a wonderful time, man. And yeah, it, it, just, just keep doing what you're doing. It's awesome. Straight up. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Talk to you later. Love you too, man. Bye. Bye. Okay.